Hello and welcome back to KDP A to Z. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my hottest niches for self-publishing in 2024. Now, if you are new to this channel, self-publishing is a great way to turn your creativity into a steady stream of passive income. Plus, the entry requirements are remarkably low. You don't need any experience or fancy degrees. All you need is an idea, some spare time and the willingness to learn. And my channel will show you all the tools that you will need to support with your journey. And just to give you some examples of how how much money you can make, this is some of the average monthly earnings for a lot of these niches. And many of these are self-published books. So this is the kind of opportunity we're looking at. But one of the biggest problems that people find with self-publishing is being able to find a really good niche. Because the entry levels are still relatively low for being able to self-publish, there is a lot of competition. And many of the niches seem quite saturated. You can see here the number of competitors for something like a Christmas colouring book. There's more than a thousand competitors. So whilst the search results are quite good, it is really competitive. That would mean that to make your book stand out significantly, you would might have to invest in advertising or make it completely different. And one of the best ways to make it different is to niche down. So today I'm going to be looking at some really good niches that aren't oversaturated and have the potential to make you a significant profit. I'm here on Publisher Rocket and this shows you the keywords that people are looking for, how many times it was searched for that particular month and a competitive score. It also shows you the average monthly earnings, the average price of the book and how many competitors there are. So I'm looking specifically today for ones that have less than a thousand competitors. And this is hard. And I'm trying to find some that also have a double green score, which is very hard to find indeed. So I've put in quite a bit of time and research into finding you some really good niches where the competition is really low and we're looking for double green scores. But I will be highlighting some other ones that I think still have some good potential. So the first one that I found is this one, Mindfulness Word Search Serene. And the reason I've gone with this one is that it's got really low number of competitors and really good number of searches. Now it's saying it's moderately competitive, but I would not agree with that amount of competitors. This book here, Mindfulness Word Search for Adults, is making sales monthly of $14,000. And looking at the details of this book, you can see that they've made great use of the A plus content, which I always recommend. And you can see that it was recently independently published. This is a great example of someone that's niched down a larger niche, word searches for adults with mindfulness. Plus they've made it really attractive. That is very important to make sure you're making this attractive. The next one I want to show you is this one, Pencil Control and Patterns. You can see here that this is a double green score on Publisher Rocket. It's only got 646 competitors and it's making some good monthly earnings. Now, this is a nice example of where niching down makes sense because Pencil Control and Patterns is only being used as a keyword for a few books. So these are the top ones. And you can see that some of them haven't sold very many copies, but they're still coming up in the top results. So this gives them the opportunity to be making an impact in the market. Again, this one was independently published and it's making organic sales monthly of $91. Now, I think this book has an awful lot of potential. It's nicely structured. It's got a nice front cover, which is attractive for that age range. I think if they went into a low competition category, they'd be able to get bestseller ranking quite quickly. I did show you a couple of weeks ago how to get bestseller ranking on any of your books by putting them into lower competition categories. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out because it is very useful. The next one that I want to show you is Sensory Coloring Book for Kids. You can see that it doesn't have much competition. It's making good average monthly earnings. It's searched for a good number of times and it's low on the competitive score. Let's have a little look at one of these ones that is making a good number of sales. This one's making $2,691 each month. And you can see again that this has made good use of the A plus content and that it was independently published. Now, incidentally, one of the things that's great about this particular publisher is that they've really focused on making themselves a brand. All of their books have this little cute little lion on them. So you can easily recognize a good book from that publisher. So even though they are independently published, they are producing quality items and they have sort of branded themselves. And it is something that I would recommend. So if you're going into any particular niche, I would make yourself a brand. Make sure you do focus on that one niche only 
and do varieties around it. That way you're going to get the biggest area of that market and you'll be recognized as a brand rather than an independent publisher. The next one that I wanted to look at is this one, Lunchbox Notes. Now this really interests me and it's not one that I often see coming up anywhere else. Lunchbox Notes is basically what it says on the tin, leaving little notes for your children or your partner or whoever else in their lunchbox each day. And it's a sweet little idea. And if you niche down on this, it's coming up with some really great results. So here you've got 88 competitors for Lunchbox Notes Sports, and they're making average monthly earnings of $1,391. You can see how many searches that's getting each month. Lunchbox Notes for toddlers, again, double green. We've got this one here, Lunchbox Notes Holidays, double green again, great number of searches. And Lunchbox Notes Affirmations is another really good one. Look how few competitors we've got on these. Let's have a little look at this. So you can see that some of the competitors are actually boxed products. So that's not something that we're able to produce when we're self-publishing. But this one here is a nice one. Lunchbox Notes for Kids, Fun Facts, making $119. Let's have a little look at that. You can see it was independently published and it's making decent organic sales every month. Here's another one that I wanted to highlight to you, Daily Mass Readings 2024. So this only has 124 competitors, double green results. Now this one obviously would require some specialist knowledge. I wouldn't recommend producing a religious book unless you know something about it. But you can see this one here, Catholic Sunday and Daily Mass Readings. It doesn't even look that well organized. Look at this, the edging on here is really poor but it's making $3,341 each month. It's only 62 days old, and you can see, again, it was independently published. But looking at the quality of this book, I don't know how it's making so many sales. I'm guessing it's because it's such a, a niche product. In the same vein, we've got this one here, Daily Roman Missal, which is another religious term. Really small amount of competitors making good average daily sales. Again, double green results. We've got this one here, Catholic Mass Readings, again, independently published very recently and making really good sales. So this just shows if you do have some unique knowledge in a specific area, there is a potential to make an awful lot of money on these higher content books. Just while I'm in this one, I wanted to look at a couple of other ones. Daily Journal with prompts. Again, you can see this is a double green score and Daily Journal for girls ages 8 to 12, double green score. But remember, these have got a high amount of competitors, so you'd really have to make yours unique. But let's just have a little look at the earning potential of these. So looking at this, you can see a lot of these are quite old. This indicates that the competition is quite high because the older books are obviously going to have more reviews. So as a newer book, I don't think you're going to make it in that sort of market unless you really niche down further. This is another good niche that I want to look at, reverse colouring books. Now you can see this one here, reverse colouring book edition 2024. It's only got 14 different competitors for those keywords. And you can see that they're making average monthly earnings of $4,000. It's being searched a good number of times. Now it's saying that the competition score is moderately competitive, but with 14 competitors for those keywords, I really think that might be a good one for you to go with. Now these reverse colouring books are actually really nice and they are becoming very much more popular. You can see this one here, an anti-stress reverse colouring book. Again, it's niche down. It's not just a reverse colouring book, it's an anti-stress reverse colouring book. Niche it down. You can see how pretty this A plus content is, which does make it look very professional. And you can again see it was independently published. That book every month is making $1,239. We've got some new ones that come into the market. This one's only 36 days old. So this one won't have had the opportunity to get a good number of ratings, but you can still see it's doing quite well. Again, independently published about a month ago. And it just shows you the opportunity you have with these sort of reverse coloring books if you niche it down. A lot of the competition in these reverse coloring books is fairly low. So reverse coloring book insects, I'm not being looked for an awful lot, but only 21 competitors and they're still making to make decent average monthly sales. So this might be a really good opportunity for people. Now looking at the ones with the higher search results, 969 for reverse coloring books for kids, eight to 12. So that might be a good one for you. Reverse coloring book for kids seems to have quite a good amount of competitors. 
but the one for the reverse coloring book for kids 8 to 12 is much lower competitiveness. The next one I wanted to look at was this one, Scissor Skills Notebook. So it's got 421 competitors. It's being searched for a really good number of times, 713 is quite good, making a decent amount of monthly earnings. You can see that a lot of the Scissor Skills books are high in competitiveness. But if you look down the list a little bit more, the keyword Scissor Skills Preschool Work for Kids seems to have lower competition. Happy Halloween Scissor Skills, much lower. So although these aren't searched for a great number of times, they are still being searched for and they are still making some decent sales. But let's have a look at the competition for this one, Scissor Skills Notebook. So none of these are actually called Scissor Skills Notebook. What they've obviously done is put the keyword notebook into their seven keyword section. This looks a really nice one, nice front cover, making $808 a month, independently published. Nice use of A plus content there. The next one that I wanted to look at was regarding 2024. Now, at the end of each year, people start looking for the next year. So I would recommend sort of middle of next year, start using the keyword 2025, because people that are searching for newer books will start using that as their keyword. It also niches it down slightly and means that you're going to have less competition with your keywords. Now, I'm not looking at calendars at all. I'm pretty sure that you're not allowed to make calendars on KDP, but I can't find the evidence to back that up. But I'm sure I've read that somewhere. So I wouldn't recommend it. It's not. Also, when you look on the competition for calendars, you've got mainly the professionals. You're not going to stand out against these box calendars and so on, or the spiral calendars. So there's no point in making a calendar. It's just not feasible to do. There were some really good ones that came across here. So for example, 2024 Devotional Women, 906 competitors so far, being searched for a decent amount of times. Look at those monthly earnings, $9,198. So let's have a little look at one of the newer books. This one is 92 days old, so about three months old. And this one's making $1,000 each month. That's really good. And you can see that it was independently published very recently. So that's a really good example of a good opportunity for people. Daily Devotional for Women 2024. Now you might be saying, well, that's all very well and good, but how do I make these books? And let me tell you, I have made videos on this in the past of how to make books really quickly in any niche. I really would recommend looking at this video here, I'll show you exactly what to do to make any book. Another keyword that I really wanted to share with you was cat. For some reason, cat is one of the biggest keywords within KDP. I think there is a lot of cat people about and it is a really popular niche. But obviously it's going to be hard to find a good niche for that. This is a good one that I found, 2024 Cat Trivia. Look at that. That's being searched a great number of times and making a very good amount of sales. Now you can see that a lot of the competition for this particular keyword are professionally made box sets. But this one here, Trivia for Kids Who Love Cats, it's making a decent amount of sales for $569 and that is a book that you could easily make yourself. Now vision boards is an extremely popular topic now. This was one that I showed uh, several months ago when it was still starting out but there are still, still some very good niches within vision board books. So we've got the 2024 vision board clip art book, not very many competitors but not being searched an awful amount of times. So I found a much better one for you this one, the Vision Board Clip Art Magazine. Now this has a very low number of competitors, relatively speaking, and look how many times this is being searched. Good monthly earnings. So a lot of these are still relatively new, which shows it's a good niche. They're making decent monthly sales. Let's check this out. You can see that this was independently published. And this basically involves lots of different pictures that people can pick out cut out and put on their own vision boards. So even though vision boards are still very much saturated, there is still loads of opportunity within that. And if you use the keyword vision board clip art magazine, you're going to get yourself ahead of the game because you've got less competition with that. And this demonstrates how niching down really works. So you'll see vision board kit for teens, much less competition. This one here, vision boards Pinterest, only 92 competitors. That one interests me. Let's have a little look. So this one has used Pinterest as one of its keywords and it's making some decent sales. Again, you can see it was independently published. 
well presented book and making good monthly sales. So this was another one that I wanted to share with you. Self-regulation is seeming to be quite a good keyword. I would niche down on it. So here we go. Self-regulation and social skills workbook. Only 68 competitors for that one. Not being searched for an awful lot of times, but I think this is more of an up and coming sort of niche. We've got self-regulation journal for kids. This has got great number of searches and low competition and is making a decent amount of money each month. Another good one here, self-regulation posters for kids. Hardly any competition on this one, only 18 competitors and being searched for a good amount of times. So I'm starting to see self-regulation becoming quite a popular topic. There's a lot of good opportunity in this particular area. So self-regulation journal on its own, as you can see, has more than a thousand competitors, but just niching down slightly. So self-regulation journal for kids would have less competition. And you can see the potential for the earnings here, $10,000 each month on average. So let's have a little look at this one, self-regulation posters for kids, which is being searched a good amount of times. So I imagine when people are searching for that particular keyword, they're looking for things that they can put up on the wall. So this book, kind of book, I would recommend a large book with posters that can be cut out. So that's an easy one to make. But let's have a little look at the competition. This one here, self-regulation skills workbook for kids ages 8 to 12. This is making a decent amount of sales every month. It's made nearly two years ago, so it's probably got some good amount of ratings. Well, not too many, 113, not too many. And again, independently published. So I really hope that this helps you with your own KDP journey. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, you're not going to know when I've made my next videos. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.